Titleist have sent me a secret weapon to improve my game and lower my scores in 2019. Want to find out what it is? Let's do it, and let's do it now. This is very exciting. That's right guys, you guessed it. Let's do it, and let's do it now. Now, I know exactly what you're thinking, or I know exactly what some of you skeptical people will be thinking. He's got these wedges just for a bit of a laugh, and it, yeah, let's do it, let's do it now, very, very funny. But, but, there is a bit of background to these wedges as well. When I used to play my best golf, when I was probably a junior to be fair, this is the exact wedge setup I had. Obviously, I didn't have them in black, I didn't have them stamped up. That's just a lovely thing that Titleist have done for me. So guys, thank you so much to Titleist for sending these through as well. I really appreciate it. These are gonna really help me hone my short game back to exactly where it was. And this is my point, this is why it is my secret weapon. My short game last year was terrible. For my standards, it was nowhere near good enough where I would want it. Yes, I know you've seen a couple of course vlogs where I've played a few good chips, the odd good bunker shot, and maybe hold the odd shot, but you ask anyone who used to play with me back in the day, back when I were 15, 16, 17 years old, I'd chip in twice around standard. I'd miss lots of greens because I wasn't very good at my irons, but since I've worked on my game, I've hit more greens, I've hit more fairways, my short game has gone <whistles> It's just got gradually worse and worse and worse to the point where I wasn't really feeling confident around the greens and that's just not me. So I decided to do something about it and try and go back to where I feel comfortable, go back to successful days, just try and relive some positive moments, get some confidence flowing through there again. And that's exactly what these bad boys are gonna do. And that's why I've done you this video. I haven't just done you this video to unbox some wedges, I've done it for a little bit of advice. If you're struggling with confidence and you used to be really, really good at something, go back to what you're good at, go back to what you remember, go back to get some positive vibes. Positive vibes. Anyway, I'm gonna hit you some shots with these and I'm gonna talk you through the distances and the numbers and just show you why I love them so much. Although I have got to say, wedges aren't just about full shots, it's about confidence around the greens. These will do it. So I should probably talk you through the wedges that I've got. I've got the 50 degree in F grind, which is the only option, 8 degree bounce. Obviously they are all in black finish and they all have the Project Tech shaft in there that matches the iron setup that I have. Now this'll work. This'll definitely work. And then we'll move on to the 56 degree. I've also got this in a black finish Project Tech shaft. It is an S grind with 10 degrees of bounce. I like this because I can play it fairly square face, but I can also open it up if I feel like I need to.
skinny that last one. I almost feel sorry for these practice balls now. New wedges in here off the mat. Never really stood a chance, did it? Let's take a look at the lob wedge. Now the lob wedge is a funny one because I would never really ever play a full lob wedge. I never feel like I would need that much height. I think for me the 56 would generate that for me. So I'm just going to play you some kind of nice 50, 60 yard shots. This is what I would be playing this with. I miss a lot of greens and earlier I said that I need that magic back. I need that touch back. I need that confidence back. This is the one that's going to do it for me. So let me just talk you through the numbers there and the gap in that I want to see and also what I would expect to see out on the golf course. So we'll start with the 60, like I said, I'd never really hit that with a full shot, more like 50, 60 yard shots there. So quite happy with them with those shots, averaging 56, right in between that 50, 60 yard mark that I was hoping for. Moving down to the 50, this is the real money club for me. If I'm gonna hit good drives, this is what I'm gonna leave myself with. For me, around about 125 would be ideal with this. Didn't swing it my best today actually, but still averaging 122, so quite happy with that. If I can nail that at 125, I know I don't have to step on it. If I wanted to, I probably could get it out there 130 ish, but I don't really see the point. I'd just hit a pitching wedge. Moving to the 56 degree, you can imagine what I'm going to want to see here around about 100 yards, maybe just over 105. Averaging at 105, I didn't honestly didn't look at that there, but averaging at 105. So it's a real nice gap and then the 60 degree just offers me that versatility, like I said, on shorter shots and around the greens and out of bunkers. Now for those of you screaming, where are the high toe wedges? Why have you got rid of those? You've only had them in a couple of weeks. I'd never, I never felt completely comfortable with them. I think for me, when I open up the 60 degree wedge, I like to bruise the surface. I don't want to take a divot. I don't want to be the guy who takes loads of divots out of the chipping green. I love practicing my chipping. I want to be able to open the face of this wedge, bruise the chipping green, bruise the grass underneath it, and just pop the ball up in the air and let it stop quickly. With the, with the high toe wedge, I really struggled to do that. I'd keep digging. The shot would be okay. If you know what I mean? So like, for instance, the vlog with Liam, I chipped okay. But I never felt comfortable. I never felt like it was the shot I was trying to play. And you kind of low handicappers and fellow pros who are watching, you'll know exactly what I mean by that. This may surprise you, but I'm a bit of a tinker man with clubs. Surprised? And having the options now to be able to change the clubs pretty much as and when is a fantastic thing for me. It's probably a bit too good. I will probably change my clubs quite a lot this year. However, I'm going to do you guys a brand new what's in the bag for 2019 when I get to Dubai next week. So keep your eyes peeled for that if you want to see what driver makes the bag, what fairway wood makes the bag. I'll give you one little clue. The irons are going to stay the same. Oh, those irons. Guys, I'm James Robinson. I'm here at Huddersfield Golf Club. I really hope you've enjoyed that video on my new secret weapon. I guess all that's really left to say is let's do it and let's do it now. After all that, I've got to say the biggest thing I've probably missed out of these Vokers is the feel. See you soon.